Hello, welcome back to Spare Time Workshop. On this episode, I'll be showing you how to make this clock. Stick around, you'll enjoy it. Safety first. I designed the clock face in PowerPoint and exported the image to the laser garble software. That in turn sent all the data code over to the laser for it to be burned onto the wood. All right, here we are back with the clock. Let's go ahead and start measuring our size so we can get some good information. Looks like nine and seven eighths. By nine and seven eighths. I'm going to need to reinforce the back of the clock face for the clock to go in there. So, maybe about a half an inch all the way around. It looks like we're gonna go by three by three. And now we just rough cut each of the four sides for the clock. All right, let's do a test fit. We made that pass. All right, looks like it's going to be good. And now with the miter saw, I'll cut all the corners at once. Okay, all the lines are centered now. Put a little weight on it. All right, here we are the next morning. Let's see how this turns out. All right, nice and secure. Go ahead and clean up these pencil marks so we don't see them on the back. There we go, looks great. Let's go ahead and check out how these turned out. All right. Looks pretty good. Just gotta get it all stained up and clamped up together. All right, we're gonna go ahead and paint the frame. Alright, we're here the next day, it's time to take out the clips. A little coat of lacquer on here. Alright, now that our lacquer is done, we've got a nice sheen on here, we're going to go ahead and put the clockwork mechanism in. Of course, we're going to use a standard clockwork mechanism. Here are all the pieces for it. First thing you will need to do is find the center of the clock. In order to preserve the face, we're going to put a little tape on here. So we know our center is going to be right there. All right. Just going to take the tape off. 
Alright, got a nice clean hole. Looks good. Putting the mechanism in place. Now we'll move on to putting on the dials. All the clock hands just slip on. Go ahead and insert our battery. We got clock movement. It is now 10.05. Alright, and our clock is done.